Hello there, amigos. Today I'm gonna talk about new grenades, so called in depth test. Because I'm gonna cover up the technical part, probably something you don't actually know. And you can state it in the comment section. Yeah, she is a nuke grenade with no current mods, like we could possibly have some. It contains radiation, so could be quite dangerous for bloody builds. And here we have some stats. Senorito Grenadier is a must-have per card. It has two ranks, but we are interested only in twice the radius rank two. With no Grenadier, it can deal some damage, but we care about distance, and uh, it is up to 42 feet, or almost 13 meters. And what about Grenadier rank 1? The description says that it has to increase the radius of annihilation by 1.5. And indeed, it goes a little bit beyond 60 feet. But movement is dead only at 54 feet. And do now Grenadier rank 2. We should be able to damage something at 84 feet. And there is only one way to find out. 72 dead. And here is damaged. And that's all. Hmm. And speaking of 84 feet. Nothing. Hey, Demo Expert is another must have per card, so let's see how it goes. Okay. Boom. And. Uh, okay, that. 78 feet dead. And 84. Mm -mm, undamaged. And just a little quick reminder that other grenades are not that effective. Cry ones do nothing to movement damage and basically make me cry because of that. Fragmentation grenades don't carry the message too far, because their explosive effect will be stopped by a nearby target. Well, actually I damaged two of them, but the radius of explosion is way bigger. And I don't want to say that something unrealistic is going on here. Bethesda actually did a great job in this regard, but in the video we're gonna get concentrated on nuka power only. So we know that the radius of explosion is around 80 feet and that is why I piled up movement dummies horizontally to get more accurate results. And let's get them! What I've noticed, the damage started to decrease at some point and fades away at 80 feet approximately. So, what we really want to know is the exact point where nuclear power starts to decline. We gotta have the radius of total destruction and we're gonna find it out very soon. And by very soon I mean right now. What's important to notice is the damage decreasing function is not linear as you can see. And to find the exact point where damage starts to decrease, I had to lower the power of explosion down to the absolute minimum, so all damage survived. Then I analyzed carefully their health bars and found the exact distance where Nuka starts being less dangerous. Ladies and gents, I give you 48 feet, or exactly 60% of the maximum radius. And since we have a whole bunch of health bars, we can exactly understand how damage drops in the last 40%. Obviously, we are not including damage resistance or reduction, but we can clearly see that half of this left distance drops power of nuka by one third. And another half, or actually 20% of the whole distance, I mean 80 feet, will eat the rest. If you happen to have Tesla Science number 3, you actually can push the maximum distance or radius even further. It says plus 30%, but is it multiplicative or not? In case of being so, we should have plus 24 feet to the maximum distance. If it is just additive, the number should be plus 12. And uh, yeah, just not multiplicative and uh, not so much additive. Well, it gives plus 10 feet, so almost additive. But clearly it does something, because that Assaultron is hella angry. Obviously you need a weapon, but what legendary mod will be the best? Do not run this test twice, I just go bloody. For full health it will be kinda clear in the process. 
The first weapon will be Vampire. By the way, I'm using Perforating Magazine, not Stinging, cause Armor Penetration affects damage dealt. And it is 40% against 20%. The damage will be... 861. Now Mutants plus 25% damage. Okay, Senorito Mutant, show me a number. 1k7. Now Aristocrats and I'm halfway between 25 and 50% damage boost. Uh, hmm, come on puppy hog, show me a beautiful number, like 1k70, okay, I'll take this. Instigating does exactly what it says, but what about two shot? Let's see about this one. Wakey wakey puppy. And uh, 848. Less than the vampire. Seriously? And now instigating. Show me a big number, please. 1k366. Okay. Anti armor surely should be something good. Surprise me, anti armor. I know you want it. And. Uh, 887. And that's all. Here's another try. Ew. 887. It looks like this mob doesn't have any explosive resistance. Oh, resistance to explosives. Finally, the moment we all have been waiting for. Bloody, full bloody combo and nothing but bloody combo. Uh, wait, nah, let's just do it. And uh, 1k300... Uh, uh, okay, I'll take this. So, you know, the damage bonuses actually do a great impact on the result. Instigating will be good for full health builds, but probably you will need another weapon to finish off some survivors. Maybe Executioner will be a super good option to do the job. Or just go with full aristocrat, for example, junkie. You will be fine. Yokizokis, now the magazine issue. Well, perforating gives plus 40% armor penetration, while his stinky friend does the same but at half force. But as well we have tank killer and sadly no tanks, actual tanks to kill in this game. 36% armor penetration. So, stinking magazine, 20%. 1k300 uh, four the same numbers before wait yeah plus 20 percent armor penetration that's crazy okay just in case let's try perforating magazine okay puppy hulk please show me something bigger come on no so magazine doesn't affect damage that sucks yeah and what about tank killer? Let's try without tank killer. Yokizoki is kaboom! 1k293. Less than 1k304. So, what conclusion can we make about the usage of Nuka grenades? They are one of the fastest ways to farm experience, bales, gifts, and uh, whatever you want to farm at golf club, Bolton Greens. West Tech, or just at your location in the comment section. I made videos a long time ago. I like your face. No. Seriously? I like yours. Of course, it is super easy to craft them and they damage through any obstacle, so there is no reason to not use them. But of course, bloody builds are not super happy about income radiation that always damages at full cost. And you can piss off everybody around if you excessively use them during events, but I will not show you this activity here. Instead, I say a big thank you for watching, especially to all my 200 regular watchers. Well, my goal is to get 3k subs and make 1k uploads. And I'm quite close to these numbers. See you, kiss, kiss. See you later.